What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna go through the first things to do on your Oppo Find N. This is a uh, foldable phone from China and it is a actually really cool form factor because if you haven't seen it next to a, a Galaxy Z Fold 5, for instance, it's really different. It's shorter, it's fatter, um, it's a really cool device. Um, so if you wanna check it out and buy it, it's linked down below. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So first of all, I would, the first thing I would do on this is get rid of any Chinese bloatware that you can. Um, just swipe up to see all your apps, or if you don't see that, just look on all your home screens to see if you have any apps that you can get rid of. Once you find the app you wanna get rid of, like for instance, some of these apps you can't get rid of, but maybe you wanna get rid of hey, Tap Cloud. press and hold it, go to app info, and if you can, you should be able to see install. Uh, otherwise, you can just remove it if it's on your home screen. Uh, but go through that and try to find some apps that you can get rid of. Next thing you wanna do is on your home screen, on a blank part of the screen, press and hold, and then go into the more here. Once you're in more, there's a couple things that we can do. Home screen mode, I like seeing the drawer. So I would make sure a drawer is selected. That way you can swipe up to see all of your apps. So I love having that, so I would definitely recommend doing that. While we're also in home screen mode, you can see add apps to home screen. I like seeing that, so when I download a new app, it automatically goes on my home screen. I would personally use that, um, and then you're pretty much good. Show, uh, show app suggestions, I would turn it off. Going back to the home screen and lock screen here, lock home screen layout, turn this on if you're constantly moving your apps and you have an issue um, just moving your apps around accidentally on your home screens. If you have that on, it will not, it will block that out from happening. Icon autofill. So if you turn this on, all your apps will line up on your home screens. I like to keep it off because I want full control, but if you'd like to, it to be a little bit more neat automatically without you having to do anything, uh, turn that on. Double tap to lock. I'll show you what that means in a minute, but if you double tap a blank area on the screen, the screen will lock, so I turn that on. Quick glance, make quick glance available on the leftmost panel of the home screen. So, it's this thing right here. I actually, you might love it, keep it if you do. I'm gonna turn it off though. And then also what I just showed you, double tap the home screen to unlock it. So you can turn that on. So let's go back in here, let's go to more. And quick glance, I'm gonna turn off. Double tap the lock, I'll keep on. Swipe down on the home screen. You can get global search or you can do notification drawer. Uh, so it just depends on how you want when you swipe down on your home screen you can search for uh, either one of those so it's up to you raise to wake turn that on so when you when your screen's off and you raise your phone the screen will wake up double tap to wake or turn off the screen turn that on as well and this is all on the lock screen by the way lock screen magazine so basically this is you can show lock screen wallpaper each time i have it turned on you can keep it on lock screen, swipe left. You can see highlight the screen and uh, left click to browse more exciting content. I'm gonna turn that off. To me, it's not very exciting. It just gets a little bit uh, uh, convoluted. Mo app update over mobile network. Most people have unlimited data. Turn it on. It's gonna be, you know, it'll just update the app over, over that. Go back here. You have pocket mistouch prevention. Make sure that's turned on. I would definitely turn that on for your lock screen so that you're not, you know, when it's in your, your pocket, it's not just touching the screen. Uh, you can do the clock style. You can change it if you want. You can do horizontal or vertical. I'll choose that one. While we're here, you'll see uh, system navigation. Tap on that. You can use buttons or you can use gestures. On these bigger screens, I like the buttons, but if you wanted to, um, you can switch the gestures. Button location. I like them on the left, right. You can do center if you want. If you want to move those buttons, it's up to it's all you know. It's all up to you. But I like them on the uh, the left here, or the right, I should say. Going back, let's hit the home button again. Let's bring up our. This time you can do uh, your wallpaper. So if you want to change your wallpaper real easily, you can look at recent or album, or choose some live ones right here that Oppo has built into the phone. So just choose what you'd like, and go from there. You can even do online uh, wallpapers. There's classic and artistic, or you can hit more, more wallpapers, and it brings you into their store, so you can get even more wallpapers that you might absolutely love. It all depends what you're looking for. So come in here to your heart's desire and find the wallpaper that you like. If there's one that you like, say it's, uh, let's just say it's this one, for instance, just tap on it, hit preview, and then you can lock it in. 
Also while you're in here, if you press and hold, you have icons. <clears throat> so you can uh, come in here and change the size of the icons if you want, bigger or smaller. You can do the use recognize icons for the third party apps. If you want to do that, you can restore what you did. And then other than that, if you have some widgets you wanted to add, come in here and all you're gonna do is find the widget that you want. Uh, let's just say you wanted, uh, I already used added Google, but maybe you want, maybe you want TikTok. So we'll just do hold it, TikTok, bring this where you want it, drop it, hit done, and you're good to go. You can you know tap on it and it'll bring you to TikTok if you want. Also over in here, if you wanna remove that, just press and hold it, remove widget. Remove widget. Also, while we're in here, if you press and hold and you want to move, uh, move multiple icons, all you got to do is tap the ones you want, and there you go. You can create a folder. You can remove them. You can add them. You know, move them around if you want. So, like I have, say I have all these ones. You're like, you know, I want to move those. Just press and hold them. It's gonna move them. Drop them, and that's an easy way to move your icons on your screen. Next thing you want to do is swipe up to so you can see all your apps. If you want to manage these, tap that and you can sort these by different, I, I said I, I sort them by name A through Z, but if you want, you can do by install time or most used, whatever works for you. Also swipe down from the top and you have your quick toggles. On your quick toggles, you can come in here and rearrange these if you want. So just tap the three dots in the top right and go to edit tiles and you can move these around if you wish. Just press and hold it or you can hit the red X and it'll remove it or hit the green one at the bottom here and it will add it. So it all depends on how you wanna do that. Once you're done, just hit the back button and it will take effect. Also with any of these uh, quick toggles up here, you can press and hold to go in them. So if you are looking to go get more information on one of the other ones, all you gotta do is just press and hold it. Like for instance, Wi-Fi. If you press that, it'll bring you into Wi-Fi. You can choose your network or if you wanna go into this, press and hold it, it'll go into it. So whatever you wanna do there, it'll work for you. Next, let's swipe down from the top and go into settings. And next, what you wanna do is go into main screen. And main screen does a couple of things here. So for instance, you can go into split screen. It's gonna show you how to split screen. So if we swipe down with two fingers on any, I mean, anytime we have an app open, so for instance, we have settings open, I can swipe down with two fingers. This doesn't support it. So what we'll do is we'll go into uh, Play Store, swipe down with two fingers, it's gonna ask me to choose another app here. So I'm like, oh, which app to choose? Which app to choose so, so difficult? I'll choose this one and I can use both these windows at the same time. You can make one a little bit bigger or smaller. Tap that, you can swap them. You can also save this split screen. So if you like the Play Store and that, you can tap that and it saves it to the home screen. So if I hit my home button, I'm now gonna have a breakdown of right here. I can tap that and it'll instantly go into that for me. Uh, so I can split screen. Let's go back into where we just were, close that out, go to settings. You also have the ability to enable split screen from recent tasks. It says on the recent task screen, uh, tap the split screen icon in the upper right corner of an app window to enter split screen. So what we're gonna do is press the recent apps button, find an app that we can multitask on. You can see there's one right here, for instance, TikTok. I'll tap that, find the app that I want. We'll choose uh, Daily Mail. And now I have both of these on right now so I can multitask for them. Another way to multitask is you can see enter split screen from your smart sidebar, drag an app outside the sidebar. So for instance, let's just open up the Play Store again and we have this smart bar right here. You can slide, slide over, press and hold it just like a Samsung button uh, phone does. And now you have two apps opening at the same time so that you can multitask. A quick way to switch between apps, double press uh, that recent apps button and it'll switch between the two apps that you just had open. Next, let's go into flexible windows. So if you want uh, multiple windows open like that are floating, you can do that. You can turn an app into a floating window from the recent task screen or certain notifications. Open from the sidebar, open with a swipe, resize a window, mini window. So you can go uh, hide action buttons. You can tap the bar at the top of a window to show the close button so you can turn those buttons free all that stuff so if you want to do a floating window we'll just do it this way and there you go now we have a floating window i can come back in here and choose another one maybe i'll choose this calculator and it allows you to have these little floating windows wherever you want you can make them bigger smaller 
and uh, just close them out if need be. Next would be flex form mode. So if you close your phone in half like that, when an app that supports free form mode, uh, hold your phone to the appropriate angle to enter flex form mode. So make sure it's turned on right here. And then what you're gonna do is, we'll just do this real quick. So installed apps that actually use this are music and camera. So we'll just open up the camera real quick and I'm gonna half close it. And there you go. I now have the ability to do a couple things in here, such as see my photo or control the camera and have the other, one, the other camera lens coming through the other. Going down a little bit, you'll see screen switching. If you want, uh, fold your phone and swipe up on the cover screen to continue using it or wait three seconds for the screen to lock. And basically, so it will uh, swipe up to continue using it or continue using or turn the screen off. So what we'll do here is we're gonna swipe up to continue using. So I'm using, I'll just open up an app here. We'll open up the Daily Mail. So we have Daily Mail open. I'm gonna close the screen. And when I swipe up, the app is still there. While we're on the main screen, you can also adjust the display size if you want. For certain apps, if something's not showing full screen, you can change it to that. So for instance, we were just looking, I don't know if we'll be able to change it. It doesn't look like we'll be able to change it. Oh, Daily Mail actually. So it's showing a 16 by now. I'm gonna choose it to uh, full screen. I'm gonna hit change. So now when I open up the Daily Mail app, it should fill up the whole entire display. And there you go. Next, tap on display and brightness. And in here, what we can do are a couple of things. If you want to change it from light mode or dark mode, you have that ability right here. You can turn it to be scheduled if you want, like sunrise to sunset, if that works better for you. You also can change your brightness right here. Auto brightness, I like having it on, but if you want to turn it off right here, that will adjust the uh, display brightness of the screen based off the lighting that you're in with. You have your screen color mode if you want to come in here. I have it set to vivid. I would recommend that too. It just looks better. You have eye comfort. It'll make your screen a little bit more yellow if you want, or you can set a schedule. Font. Come in here and change your font real easily. Also, what you can do is display size. You can change it to standard or small. I like it to be standard. I'm more of a, I like my stuff to be a little bit bigger on the display personally. Image sharpener, uh, the image video color enhancer. I have those both turned on. You have bright HDR video mode. Increase the screen brightness when playing HDR video. I'm gonna turn that on. Auto rotate, you can turn it on or off right there. Auto screen off, change that to two minutes. That's the perfect time for a uh, screen to be turned off. You have the screen refresh rate, change that to high. Make sure that's running that 120 hertz. It's just gonna make look everything smoother and faster overall. Next, tap on sound and vibration. Go to Dolby Atmos and you have scenario specific profile. I would probably leave it at that um, and you can or you can choose it to something else you want, but make sure it's turned on. It should already be turned on. Haptics and tones, tap on that. And I like turning the, the haptics off. If you like it, keep it on, but otherwise I would turn it off. It just, I, I, don't, I, like, I don't like feeling the, the, the vibrations. Next, tap on notification and status bar. So on your lock screen, you can tap this. If you want, if you're coming from an iPhone and you like your notification screen to wake up when you get a notification, Tap that uh, where it says wake notification when a notification is received. That will wake your screen up when you get a notification. Lock screen notifications. You can show the app and notification content or show the app only or do not show at all. Swipe down on lock screen to view notification drawers. You can turn that on or off. If you want more privacy, turn it off. Banner, tap on banner right here. You can reply in a floating window. I keep that on. Simplify banner notifications when using an app in full screen. I turn, I keep it on as well. You have your app icon badges that will put a little number next to the app. So if you wanna turn that on or off for specific apps, you can. Just tap the on off switch here. While we're still under notification and status bar, tap on status bar. You'll see notification icons. You can, and that'll be up here. You can show the notification icons or show a number or don't show anything at all. Battery style, you can do horizontal or vertical or a loop or don't have to show at all. I'm gonna put do not show. I just, for me, I'd rather have the battery percentage, but you can turn that on and off as well if you want right there. You have these other ones in here too. If you wanna see your network speed, you can have that turned on or off or your Bluetooth notification or HD voice. Any of these things you wanna turn on or off that show up here, 
you can do that. Password and security tap on that. And let's go into face, tap on that. And in here, you can add your uh, face unlock if you'd like. But also while you're in here for, for this, uh, you can make sure this turn on, enter home screen after unlocking. So when it unlocks with your face, it will automatically go into your home screen. You don't have to uh, touch anything on the screen to go into your home screen. Go back one step and go into fingerprint, enter home screen when unlocking, make sure that is turned on, screen off, unlock. So when your screen is off, I like to have light touch instead of firm touch. What that means is when my screen is off, usually you have to press, by default you have to press in the, the fingerprint sensor and the power button at the time, but by just having it as a light touch, it'll automatically turn on when the screen is off and unlock it with your fingerprint. Go to special features, smart sidebar. I have that turned on. That's that little bar over here that shows up, but you can turn it on or off if you want. You can show out names, show recently, you can auto hide it. So when I head here, you can see it's right here, this little blue bar that I have. So if I swipe over, I can bring over different apps real quickly or tap on them or do certain things and it'll bring up for me uh, very quickly. Next, go into additional settings and you can go into gestures and motions. You can see screen off gestures, use specified gestures on the screen for quick access. One of the things you can do is swipe down with three fingers to take a screenshot. So if I swipe down with three fingers, it took a screenshot for you. Um, very helpful, and you can do that from any screen. Touch and hold with three fingers to take a screenshot. Press and hold three fingers. And you can drag a screenshot from here, rectangle, eclipse, or free form. So trace the area, so I'm just gonna go I want a screenshot of that. And hit the plus button, oh, there's a check mark, and then you're good to go. Settings, about device, you can come in here and check any specs you have on the, uh, the phone, how much storage you have left, the processor, the screen size, the RAM battery size. Also under settings, if you go to the top here, you can search for any settings that you want. So if you're looking for uh, software updates, you can type update and then go to any of these over that you want. So if you want a software update, it'll check for updates on your phone. That's a quick and easy way to search for really anything that you want on the phone at uh, for any setting that you can't find and you're not sure exactly where it is. Next, let's go to the home screen. Let's open up the camera. And in here, if you go to video, for instance, and then go into 1080p here. You can change that to 4K. I would recommend changing it to 4K so that you get the best quality video possible on here. Uh, the front camera only does 1080p or 720, unfortunately, but the back will do up to 4K. Also, hit the, uh, I'll go back right there, hit the three dots, go into, you can change it to 30 or 60 frames, go to settings, and make sure watermark is off. Shutter sound, I would turn off as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any other tips or tricks for this phone, leave it in the comments down below. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.